Minnesota in the 1970s. Life was awesome. The culture was vibrant, family friendly, and all American. And then, everything changed. That was when Minneapolis was exploding with like really great local music. <laughs> Lori Barbero, drummer for the band Babes in Toyland, was there and saw it all. That's a great thing about being old is you get to see all the good bands. Tonight we'll... In the early 1970s, Lori moved with her family to New York and became exposed to big city punk rock. You know, I got to see the Dead Boys and Patti Smith and uh, Suicide, and I just got into every show because I was a, a regular. Now I'm just irregular. And then I came back to Minneapolis and started working at Jay's Longhorn. Jay's Longhorn was the Twin Cities' answer to CBGB's. The regulars were artists and outcasts, and bands were forming that had a different look and attitude. These bands were just like, bam, 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 and just, you're just bouncing off the walls. It was just so exciting and fun. Just talking about it makes my heart beat hard. All the suburbs were so fun. They were a house band at the Longhorn. Curtis A, he dressed the coolest. Still does. He still is one bad mamjamba. The Suicide Commandos, they're so great. They were just. Oh, they just went like this. Coo, 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 coo. The hipsters. Ernie and Bill Batts, I mean, they're just two guys that just, they walk in a room and everyone just goes, yeah. They should have been world famous. Well, all of them. They were all top notch. Looking back on it, the Longhorn was where Lori found her inspiration. When I was at the Longhorn, I always watched the drummers. I just thought the drums were just so cool. So I always wanted to be a drummer and I just, I talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. Eventually, Lori met guitarist Kat Bjelland and they started Babes in Toyland. We started rehearsing in my basement and that's where that started. Babes in Toyland became a 90s phenomenon, touring the country and the world. So from rock fan to rock star, Lori Barbero has been there. The Lower Town Line, we are history. Holy crap, that was so great that I saw all that stuff. <laughs>